Um, I'm going to quickly show you how I draw elephants and try and teach how I would do that. Um, it's very, very simple for me. I just start with simple shapes, really. So like a rectangle is where I'd start, and that's for the body. And so if I'm drawing an elephant from the side like this, all I'd need to do is add more rectangles for the legs to indicate where they go. And then I would add a, a square this time for the head, which should probably go right there. And you can do this for any animal really, um, just figuring out the sort of proportions of shapes. And so we've got our head and our trunk. And I think the fun thing with illustration is that um, you don't always have to do things 100% accurate like a photograph. You can distort and change proportions slightly or exaggerate certain things to your liking. And that's kind of what I do with it when I draw. I do simplify things a lot. So these two look the same. All I do is add a triangle here for the ear and maybe a little curve there for the tusk and then maybe the a dot there for the eye. And there I've got my very sort of basic structure down. And from here, um, if I wanted to um, just sculpt this a little bit more, make it a bit more interesting, I can go back into this and I can I can edit these shapes. I can bring in an angle there over the back. Um, I can taper that leg down slightly like this and this one as well. Maybe bring the belly down a bit more and just go over that ear slightly, bring out the curve in the ear, the eye. Uh, the shape there of the neck and the head. Uh, then also the, the the chin or the bottom of the head here. It doesn't have to be an angle like that. We can make that a bit more of a curve uh, like this. We'll just straighten that out. Um, so yeah, that's how I would do an elephant standing from the side um, there you go and if i wanted to do um that same elephant um let's just do it facing the same way again but this time in motion i would i'd probably angle my my rectangle slightly forward maybe the head would be a bit further forward angled forward and then the legs also would be um, you'd be able to see the other legs too, I imagine, if it was walking. So you'd probably see something like this. So that would be my, that would be my shapes. Really, really basic. And again, I'm going to work back into this now and kind of make some little edits. So again, the start of the back, bring that kind of curve angle in up there. Um, I think the head's going to be a bit like this. The eye will probably be about there. The tusk is probably going to be here. Yeah. That shoulder. These are the legs behind. We could add the tail in as well, just behind as well. And something I like to do with drawings as well is if just by grounding them, you can just add a little shadow, which really helps, I find, just to sort of give them a bit of a weight like that. And if you had time and you wanted to um, really go for it, you could try this again, but this time keep your, your lines very, very faint and you could start sort of doing some more shading. So you could start to you know, shade certain areas if you wanted to. Um, but that, of course, takes a little bit longer, but hopefully you've got an idea of the basic sort of structure that I use to build elephants. Um, you might want to edit yours slightly, um, perhaps varying the proportions a bit. But um, as I say, I try and get a likeness of an elephant. I'm not trying to make a 100% accurate uh, drawing or like a photographic representation of an elephant. So um, yeah, have fun with playing with the shapes and seeing what you come up with. All right then, bye.